guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are all doing well today i am going to be looking at something i have wanted to show you guys for a while so i am actually a massive fan of like stuff packs that people have made um for cc um as you might know if you've watched my videos before um i have done videos on like the ikea packs and stuff that um have been made and like some other stuff packs people have made and i just feel like they're really really like a fun way to like get a lot of cc into your game and a lot of the time they max as much as well you can't really tell much of a difference between them and like ones that have been made by ea um so i really really love these and i was on the mod the sims and i came across this um one um stuff pack basically um i did a video last week where i talked about the ikea stuff pack and basically it is the um modern kitchen stuff pack so this stuff pack is going to add some really, really cool items into your game. Um, and they are going to be marked by, if we look on this bar, uh, bar below, you can actually see, like, they have this little um, kitchen-y, like, green circle thing next to them. So that's how we know. Um, I love when creators do this as well because this um, allows you to, like, know where the set's from. And, like, especially when you've got a lot of CC like I have, it allows you to see, kind of, um, what you... Are looking for um so if we get straight into it i'm going to show you guys some of the stuff from the pack and just have a little bit of a talk about it and see where we go so if i haven't already mentioned this is actually off mod the sims and it's by a creator called little deeker who creates like um a lot of different types of cc for the game so you guys can go and check that out i will link this um stuff pack below in the description so you guys can download it um, so I'm going to show you guys the counters um, first. So this is the um, sort of like the standard counter, and also like obviously we've got the islands and stuff with it too. Um, and so we've got um, a few things with this. So we've actually got um, a counter thing that isn't like doesn't have anything underneath it. We haven't got any storage basically, um, and we can also do that for the islands as well. So we can have like hanging um, sort of counters that we can put stuff underneath, I guess, which is really cool. Um, and then like these are the top cabinets as well so they have like this little they're very modern they don't have handles they are really really cool so if we just have a little look um, at the colour swatches they are very like neutral tones we also have like this whiny tone which is really nice but I do like the grey like I am a big fan of grey um, there is for the bottom ones like quite a few different um, options that you can have so you can have like mix and matchy kind of thing which is really nice as well um, if we look at the um, sort of like with the countertops, we have like different, obviously different sort of styles. Um, we can have like these corners and stuff. You know, there's a lot of different ones you can look at um, with the um, this sort of like open. It's not automatic counters. It's basically just what the counters are. So we've got like a few different styles, which is really nice um, that we can choose from. We can have like a big, I don't know what you'd call this, like a sort of like a hexagon -y. I don't know what that what that shape is octagon I guess shape um we can have that if we wanted to um as well as this um these sort of come shorter and longer like the little countertops as well um and then um on these as well these are the islands we've got like loads of different shapes to kind of um make it seem I don't know just a little bit more there's a little bit more mix and match going on I like that um, and then for the top counters we have um, some different styles of the um, sort of like wall cabinets so if we just have a look at those and um, that's sort of the standard one but we also have like the corner one um, and then some like shorter ones and then like just ones on their own so we have a few different styles we can choose from when we're making our cabinets and we also have one with like a little shelf on the side which is actually quite nice as well um, so those are the cabinets, I guess. Um, I don't think there's any more. I think that's just all there is for the cabinets. But then if we go on to like the chairs and the tables and stuff, um, I've just got kind of scroll past them. So we actually have these as the dining chairs. Um, and then we have like a little stall as well. I think this is more like a bar stall. But they're very, very modern and very distinct in style, which I really like. Um, they just seem very, um, like they match with a lot of things. That's the table. So we can like sit the chair at the table it's like just a simple glass table um, and then we also have like a bigger sort of style of that glass table as well I just really like this table I think that it's really nice um, and just very like practical basically a lot of the stuff in this pack is really practical it will go with like whatever 
Um, so this is the um, end table as well. Like, it's like a dime, like a cube of ice, really. It's very like modern looking. Um, so if you guys were doing like a modern house or like a mansion, this stuff would be really, really good for that. Um, we have this is the shelving unit, so it comes with a few, um, the shelving unit as well. Um, where it's a really again very industrial and modern, and I really like that too. Um, this is the sink actually for the kitchen. So if we like move um, some of the cabinet, we can just slot that in, and it matches very well with like the cabinets and things. It's also got like two sinks, so I like that. I like how it's got the, the double sort of like sink areas. That's really cool as well. It's a very big sink. Um, I think that's really fun. Um, and we have just a normal sink as well, so you guys can have like a floating sink if you wanted to um, with these little countertops, but you can also put it on like this one as well. So there's a couple of different styles you can choose from with those, with the sinks. Um, then we have this sort of, um, I think this is supposed to be like an extractor. Oh, it's an air conditioning unit. So this it comes with a seasons pack, we've got like, this large air conditioning pack, this unit thing. Um, and like there's a couple of different colours again um, which is really cool so that is for the seasons packs if you've got that that'll um, go with that I'm just showing you guys some of the colours of these things I just forgot to have a look um, like they come with very neutral tones but they like match with anything I guess um, so um, they're very easy to fit into builds which is really fun as well because I always like to have CC that's very like um, like very simple and it's like a staple piece for my game so I can use it in like anything um, this is like um, one of the vases with a little, um, it's got like a little flower in it, like a little rose, which is really cu cute as well. Um, and if we scroll down, there's some art. We've got some abstract art that comes with this as well. Like, um, I guess it's very modern, but you can like switch between different ones you want. So it's like a little plum bob, which is super cute as well. Um, and like, we've got like, again, yeah, lots of different styles. It can match it with anything really. So I like that, that is cute. Um, and hopefully I'm not missing anything while I'm going through. We have this toaster as well. Um, we have a couple of kitchen appliances. So we have a blender and a toaster. The creator actually makes, like there's a pack um, that sort of has like touch screen appliances and that sort of thing and like um, modern appliances. That's also on The Sims as well, which is um, very cute. And they are like, like it does make the game seem more modern. We have like this tablet holder as well, which is like a little tablet just sitting up on a stand. Um, and it's like we can use that in the kitchen, like it says, it's for like instead of a cookbook basically, like you've got like a modern sort of stand going on. We have a pan, obviously like I guess that's to put on the, um, the hob. Um, and then what else do we have? We have some quite a few things for the kitchen like in terms of decorations, I guess. We have this neon sign, um, which is again very modern, it would fit really well with like a um, modern mansion. Um, and then we have a storage unit here, so if we click on this we've got like this, this storage unit which has lots of like shelf space for your clutter and things if you like to make like um, kitchens with a lot of clutter in or even if you don't, it kind of would be cool with like some decorative items on I guess. Um, we have this um, sort of like remesh of the paper towel dispenser, not remesh but just like a little um, little change on what it looks like, like it looks like it's got a um, little pattern in it, it looks like a normal paper towel, like a uh, paper towel. When, then we have the serving tray and we have like some plates and stuff here as you can see um, we have a kind of I don't know what this would be this is like just a, like another thing for storage we'll see if I can put this on anything so you guys can see it's got like a little pasta in it which is super cute um, this would be really good on like the shelves like in the kitchen so um, we've got like um, a pasta holder as well as this there's like this little um, sort of like artwork thing this modern art um little plane taken off um then we have let's see we have this light as well which is like a very simple little light really good for like an apartment i think it's quite cheap as well it's like 50 50 dollars so it's a cute little simoleons so it's a cute little one little little light we have very very small source of lights look like just like a very modern kitchen to have like these little lights and then we are moving on to more like, um, we've got another tablet by the way, which doesn't have a display on it. 
and I think you can actually use this one. I think this one's functional, so it's like a tablet TV, it says, and you can use it like to sit and keep your kids busy while you're cooking or something, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move on to the appliances here. So if we move like this thing out of the way, we can put them here. So basically, we have a couple of different fridges, but we also have like this panel, and this panel is a smart fridge screen, and you can put it onto this fridge door, and like it makes everything just look more modern like it's got the temp it's got like the weather on and like um it looks like a smartphone app basically on the on the fridge and this works on like um both the fridges that come with this so there's like a, a wider one and a smaller one um so basically they have um like they're pretty much the same except one's a little bit wider um then we have, um, can I place this, or does it have to go into here, yeah, so the oven has to go into this unit, this isn't a freestanding oven, um, there is just one that has to be into a cabinet, um, so if we just move these things, I can show you guys, it's got like this special countertop here, um, that has to go on certain surfaces again, I don't really know what it has to go on, um, it doesn't, well, don't, it will not place it there, let's just try with it, the move objects, um, I just thought it would go on top of that, so let's have a quick look. Um, it doesn't want to place it there, maybe I'm placing it wrong. Um, but it says it has to go on like certain objects, so we'll have a look. Um, this is the sort of like freestanding oven, um, and they are like very modern, like I said. There's a bigger one as well, I think, there. So we've got two different options again. And they come in like a few different colours, um, but like the oven itself, if you like zoom in, has a lot of like little gadgety things going on. So this creator likes to make like um, sort of like technology things that to do with like modern technology, which is really nice and fun. We also have this is the hood for the oven. It's again it matches really well with the cabinets actually. I don't even think you'd be able to really tell that it wasn't part of the cabinet set. Um, so that is the oven hood and like I think you can um, does it have lighting in it. I think it has lighting in it as well. Like it's lights up so that's cool then we have the microwave so the microwave matches in with all this modern stuff again like if we put that on there like everything looks very modern in our kitchen at the moment fitting in with the pack name very well and then we have the dishwasher again very modern and like it's got this modern bar so you can clearly tell it's a dishwasher and then that's there is the bin so that is pretty much all the stuff that is in this pack um i don't know if everything is down at the moment i don't know if i've deleted anything i can't i can't remember but um this is the pack basically and you do get like a lot of stuff for your like what you're downloading you get a lot of stuff in one download so it's really really worth a download if you're getting started with cc or you're just looking for some really nice maxis match cc because this stuff is really 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 practical and really useful in a lot of builds that you might be doing so i definitely recommend it to anyone who is looking for some cc at the moment this pack is really really well done and it works really really well everything sort of um just fits in with anything it fits in with the game like the, the in-game max is matched stuff very very well so i love this pack and i hope you guys liked watching it i hope you guys um are considering downloading it if you're downloading it like i say um go to my description box and the link will be there for you guys to download off the mod the sims and i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys haven't seen my videos before then head over to my channel and check out my playlist for cc i make a lot of videos now on cc and mods so if you guys are looking for stuff for your game to make it more interesting then head over there and check that out and um, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me, all the support that you guys give me. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.